and welcome back to my nail corner. First, right out of the gate, I want to tell you that that is a Shameless Dips color called Crocus on my right hand. It's a beautiful, like, periwinkle shimmer, and you will see more of Shameless Dips from me next week because they sent me over a handful of dips, and I can't wait to show you these dips. They're gorgeous. In the meantime, I have another fun new brand to share with you guys today. Look at this adorable dusting brush with the mermaid tail. I have to hide these things promptly or my five-year-old daughter like really, really wants them. And I thought it was too cute, so I didn't want to share. Anyway, the packaging says Fairy Glow on it. That was the initial name and they transferred to Fairy Glamour. The um, vitamin oil comes with the liquids, uh, the essential liquid set. And it comes with base, so dip base, dip activator, and then it comes with a gel top, that's glossy, no wipe top coat, and a matte gel top coat. So do be aware that the liquids on their website are dip plus gel top. I used the matte top on the swatch to see how it performed and it looks awesome to me. So I wanted to be able to show you guys that because I knew I was not using matte in my mani today. These are the two colors that I picked when they offered to send these over for me to try out. I just thought they were so, so pretty. I love a white. This white has a shimmer to it and that glitter is gorgeous. So we are going to get into a mani today. I'm gonna start out and I'm using their, um, obviously the liquids they sent over. And I do wanna tell you, I thought they were fantastic. The base reminded me a lot of um, Virgo and Gems base. So nice, thin application, um, similar smell, like not a very strong smell. I really, like, I thought it was a great liquid. So I do highly recommend that. The activator performed perfectly. And then personally, I really like a gel top coat these days. I know a lot of people really struggle with um, getting their dip top coat to perform perfectly. So gel top coat is actually a really great solution if that's a struggle for you. Um, I do want to mention that they list their ingredients very clearly on the website and the gel products do include HEMA. So if you have a HEMA allergy, then maybe skip on the gel top. Um, but I do highly recommend the dip liquids. I thought they performed really well. Look how pretty that shimmer is in that white. So, so pretty. And I should just leave it for a surprise, but I'm really bad at surprises. This is a glow powder, and you know I love my glows. So stay tuned to the very end because I will show off how this glows, and it's gorgeous. So anyway, I'm going to do some basic dipping and then get into some nail art is that what we call it like I don't know is nail art just adding you know like stamping and foils and all those things or is nail art just like doing something artistic with your nails so even with just your dip powder I don't know we're gonna call it nail art so basic application and I'll hop in and out as thoughts occur to me but I do want to say I really enjoyed this product if you check out their website they have an extensive amount of dip powder selection for a brand new company like i was pretty darn surprised they hadn't even launched yet when they um reached out to me and offered to send these to me i was super excited about that and let me look at the website in advance and there were so many colors to pick from they have um triple thermals which i have yet to try but they literally have like three shades that they convert to based on temperature that's super cool. There were tons of glitters, solids, shimmers, glowing powders, like, like I said, extensive for a brand new company. So check out the website in the description box below. And if you've tried them or heard of them or have an opinion, I'd love to hear what you thought of your experience with them because so far I'm in love. So anyway, hang out for a minute while I do some basic application and I will be back in a minute to chat with you guys some more.
how beautiful that glitter is, you guys. Gorgeous. This was one of those where I got it and I swatched it and I was 100% pleased with my selection. You know how you pick colors from a website based on like a swatch, like a digital swatch, or even like a picture of a swatch? and you still don't feel like you know 100% what you're gonna get until you get it. Well, this one I was 100% pleased with, so I highly recommend. Anyway, I went ahead with my basic, um, my basic, my standard uh, chunky glitter application, which is to put base down and then pour over my first layer because typically that's gonna get all like the fine glitters in like a nice solid layer all over your nail. And then you can go ahead and lay your finger in upside down for the second layer and that's going to get all your chunky glitters. But as you can see, um, this time I kind of got mostly, I felt like clear acrylic, which is crazy because if you look at that powder, it looks like there's very little clear acrylic in it. It's very, very, very glittery. But I was okay with that, not worried about it. Went ahead with my base for my second layer and then did what I normally do and that is to lay my finger upside down in the glitters. Now, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe this isn't gonna make any sense in, unless you were like physically touching or looking at the glitters. But once I laid my finger upside down in the glitter and then did my typical kind of like pat them down with my finger, I was realizing these glitters, they were like more flexible than typical glitters. I don't know how to explain it. You know how glitters usually like pretty rigid and that's how you get like some that are sticking up and you could possibly file into them. I didn't feel like that was the case. These felt incredibly flexible. That's the only way I can explain it. And they just laid down super nicely. So because of that, I did not even hesitate to do what I'm about to do here. And that is do basically a third layer. Like my first layer hardly counted, but I wanted more of those like chunky glitters in there and so I went in for a third coat knowing that I was also going to do a clear dip over this but it was so thin in application for a chunky glitter that like I said I didn't even hesitate they laid down so flat it was really really nice so I obviously have only tried this glitter from this brand but if it's any kind of like example of what the other glitters are like I highly recommend because I found it incredibly easy to work with and like I said to lay them down super flat I don't know how much you can tell in a video I know because I experienced it firsthand so it's like I can see it because I saw it in person but I hope you can tell based on the video how like flat they laid um, in some upcoming videos I've started trying to show you guys better angles, especially of the end product. I've had people ask me how thick my product is on my nail, considering I have builder gel on first and then also have, um, you know, between three and four layers of dip powder. So I'm starting to try to remember at the end of my videos after my application is done to kind of give you guys an all around view of every angle of my nails so you can get a better idea. And so I hope that's helpful for you guys. Also, in some upcoming video, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do as far as like what I'm gonna show you in the video, but I put a um, Instagram slide up today asking for just questions that you guys might have. I get a lot of questions about what are your favorite liquids or how does peel base work or how do you apply peel base or how do you pop it off and like all these things and I'd love to take an opportunity to do a video and just answer a bunch of questions for you guys so feel free to drop a comment with a question or DM me if you want and I will try to include that in an upcoming kind of question and answer video. So what you're seeing here while I'm yammering on is the nail art, if you will, that I decided to do for this Manny. I had seen this in a couple of um, Mannies on Instagram recently. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I saw Made by Kit do it and I saw, um, so I feel so bad. I always confuse these like pixie dust names. There are a couple on Instagram and I think it's 
dipping with pixie dipping by i will link it below you guys i'm so so sorry i want to give credit where credit's due but um i really love this look with like kind of the curved glitter over a white nail or or over any color nail really um and so i decided to like give it a shot so as you saw i applied my dip base in kind of the curved line and then dipped it into the powder and now i'm going in with a little more base around the tip there because i wanted some more concentrated glitter than what happened naturally and so i'm just popping a few extra glitters on there if you're unfamiliar the tool i'm using there is called a water marble tool and it's linked in my amazon storefront down below it's a great tool for cleaning up around your cuticle line after dipping um, i use that kind of for my uh, metal toothpicks interchangeably really now instead of an orange wood stick so check that out if you're interested so i am going to go ahead and do this to my three remaining nails same method i'm going to speed it up a little bit because it's kind of repetitive but i wanted you guys to be able to see the application happen and then how i kind of manipulated the glitters the the base was like a nice medium drying speed so i had time to like push the glitters around i'm just using a cuticle pusher um, to just push them into kind of line and they did they manipulated really easily and I was actually surprised that I didn't have more glitters stuck in the white area of the nail but they they just kind of stuck where the base went so yay for ease of application anyway I'm gonna finish up these accents and then pop back in when I'm clear capping and let you know kind of what I'm doing there and why so if you're new here stay tuned
I am going in with my clear dip powder. This is double dip clear dip powder. It's my favorite. It applies really well. It's really clear and it's $14.99 for two ounces, which is a steal. And then you can use Kate 25 to get 25% off on top of that price. So super good deal. I have a big jar that I use when I'm doing glitters and I have a big jar that I do when I'm doing just solids so that my glitters don't contaminate my solids. So if you haven't heard my spiel before, this is why I clear encapsulate. First of all, I just worked hard on that design. I don't want to file and buff and ruin the design I just made. Um, if I have a clear, or not a clear, a solid color that is like a really pigmented color, sometimes you can burn through those pigments when you're filing and buffing and then you get like a marbly look. And if you're not going for that, then that's really upsetting in the end. Also, if you file into colored glitters, most of the time, they're silver on the inside. So you're going to mess up the look of your glitter if you file into it. In this situation, I am clear capping twice. I typically only do it once, sometimes twice over a chunky glitter. This one in particular I did twice because what you saw was I did this glitter only on one side of the nail. So I wanted to kind of even things out by doing another layer of clear so that I had enough room, so to speak, to file my surface really smooth and even. Because, you know, as it would make sense, if I just have two dips of that white glow all over the nail and then I add like a chunky glitter in a curve on the one cuticle line, I might get a really lopsided look. So by encapsulating twice in clear, it gave me um, room, like I said, to file into a nice shape. So that is why I did two clear layers on this particular Manny. And I do really recommend it if you're doing um, a chunky glitter that is hard to lay flat because yeah, you don't want to file into those and it's just so easy to do. So now I'm going to activate and you're going to see me doing a little extra something while activating. And that is again another recommendation I have when dealing with chunky glitters. Right now, I touch the nail and it's like sticky. And so I'm waiting a couple seconds and then as I feel it get it less sticky, I am pressing pretty firmly over the nail because right now the activator is hardening that clear dip and all of the other layers mind you and while that's happening you get like a little window to press everything down really firmly and flat and i'm finding that if i have chunky glitters that are like bumpy at all i'm having the opportunity to press them really nice and flat during the activating process and it just makes my um, filing work that much less because I've already kind of flattened out those chunky glitters. So I just wanted to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing because it, it kind of looks weird, especially if you're kind of new to dip powder and you've seen a couple of tutorials or or you've done it yourself and you're like, what? why is she doing that? So I just wanted to explain my methodology here and I'm finding it really helpful. So if you struggle with chunky glitters, Give it a try and like i said don't press firmly at first because it's going to be really it's going to be really sticky like gluey and you, you could pull a bunch of your product off that way so give it a beat and then as it's not sticky just push down until you feel like it's hardened and it works really nicely so i'm going to go ahead and file and buff off camera and now i'm back and i really like the way this turned out so you guys will have to let me know what you think if you've done a mani like this uh, if you've seen the trend and what you think of it because i was pretty into it now i know this kit came with gel top but if you've been here before then you know if i'm using a gel top coat i really like to apply gel base first this really helps your gel top adhere to your dip powder and not peel so I'm going in with my triple D gel base first before I go in with my top coat. Now look at that glitter come to life when I put that gel base over it. How gorgeous is that glitter, you guys? Oh, I love it so, so much. Um, anyway, triple D gel base first. It has a tacky layer after it's cured for 30 seconds and that is gonna allow that gel top coat to adhere really nicely. So if you're experiencing peeling with your gel top coat over dip powder, 
consider doing gel base first. And something people have recommended for a long time is not buffing your dip powder smooth, leaving a somewhat of a rough surface, and then that allows your gel top to adhere to it better. But like, who doesn't want a smooth surface on their manicure like that they just worked so hard to smooth out? I don't know. I find gel base to be the easier solution for me, but uh, do what works for you. So cure for 30 seconds and then come back in and apply your gel top coat. Now, I do wanna tell you, I love this gel top coat. I am thankful that I don't currently have a gel allergy or a HEMA allergy. I know that those are two separate things sometimes, um, but that being said, if you don't have any of those allergies, then definitely consider trying out these liquids because I really like the dip liquids and the gel top was like really really nice it applied really nicely it was very smooth and then when I was done it was like super glossy like super slick to run my finger over I was really really pleased with this gel top coat so consider that also while I'm yammering on and have your attention for a second the finger rest that you saw me use a minute ago when I was applying gel base to my thumb I get a ton of questions about that and I mentioned it before um, that is from Liquid Layers, and I've always hesitated to say where it was from before because for a while their business was shut down, not shut down, but it was, the shop was closed for a while because they had a new baby in the family and they were taking some time off, which is awesome, but now they're back. Now, granted, this model is a very old model. Their new design is a bit different, and um, I highly recommend because I really like it for when I'm especially doing my thumb. They make a rest that is for your four fingers to kind of lay flat, and I might be ordering that soon here because I kind of want to try it out, and I'm wondering if it will be a good view for you guys on camera. So if I get that, you'll have to let me know your thoughts. There is the finished Manny. I, I really liked this, you guys. And the kit comes with a cuticle oil, which is smart because you've heard me talk about how essential I think cuticle oil is after your Manny's done. You've just like buffed and filed and like your, your cuticles are right there attached to your nails. So they're gonna get kind of brutalized and dried out. So cuticle oil after the fact is a huge recommendation. I can't even tell you what the scent was. It was just like a really light, clean scent. So nothing offensive, nothing strong. And it, you know, it hydrated my cuticles, which is the purpose. So that's cool that the kit comes with that, in my humble opinion. So now that I've finished, I am going to show you guys what it looks like when these nails glow in the dark. So hang in there for just a second. I'm going to show you glow in the dark and a finished picture, and then we'll be on our way. So I know this was a long one. Thank you guys for hanging in there. I hope you guys like this, and I would love to know your thoughts. So drop me a comment down below, and I will see you in my next vid. Bye now.